Hi everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Magical Diary Horse Hall. I'm Lady Shura. I'm Trying in Morning. Ooh, it like faded. <laughs> it it seemed, always fades. It seemed different to me for some reason. Okay, so <laughs> I so have. A, I think that I haven't learned any spell, any red spells since I got my thing. So I think I have to do it in class. So I'm going to take a red, and hopefully he will not be sick this time. You didn't take a red? Then you have 69, then you got 70. Yeah, but it was with Minnie. Oh, I see what you mean. So I think yes. I have to do this to earn, learn all the back spells. All right, go for it. Yeah. Please don't be sick. God. All right, let's see if I learn. Oh, flames, flames, freeze, freeze. Lightning. lightning. Wow, Telepine. you're right. We did get a bunch of things. Sweet, that's pretty nice. Ooh. Oh, it's the night of the pancake thing. That's right, but we're not invited this time. Oh, I'm so sad. So tonight is the maple ceremony. Everyone else is off having pancakes, and I had to pretend to be sick long enough to get Virginia and Ellen out of the room. It was actually a pretty dumb ceremony, anyway. It really was. But after that, I couldn't just sit there, so I wound up here, in the library. I don't really know what to do with myself. I don't feel like studying while the rest of the world gets to have fun. I'm not exaggerating. The whole rest of the world today is Mardi Gras. Oh, wow. I didn't even know. Yeah, but not everyone in the world celebrates Mardi Gras. Then again, it's not on the same day, so there you go. <laughs> That's true, too. So, for lack of a better idea, I start flipping through the latest teen magazines. Good stuff. Naturally, they're filled with prom dresses. We do have a sort of prom here, the May Day Ball, and it's not like some schools where freshmen can only attend if they're dating seniors. Freshmen are welcome here. Most freshmen. Except us. Somehow, I don't think Professor Gravener is going to be keen on escorting me to a ball. <sighs> Why is everything, cons uh, uh, everything conspiring to make me feel sorry for myself today? Forget the prom dresses. I'm filling out the quizzes. Quizzes? You know, the stupid, like... I don't read Teen Girl oh, magazine, okay. so there you well, go. Well, I guess... It doesn't matter. <laughs> I manage to distract myself sufficiently with the magazines that at first I don't even notice when someone else enters the library. Uh -oh. Wait, I thought the whole rest of the world is partying, Horace. Well, there is one other person who may not be in a mood to party. It's the thumping sound of a large book being dropped in the return slot that draws my attention. Okay. Ah, uh, oh my god, her stupid tiara. I just noticed it. Ah, <laughs> uh, good evening, sir. Hmm. I guess he can't go to the pancake suppers either. Although I'm not sure if the staff are supposed to take part. That'd be awkward. You checked out a book from here? I'm just making small talk, but I am a little curious. This library's collection seems unimpressive even to me, and I'm just a freshman. And I'm Horace. <laughs> it is an interlibrary loan. That's my job. So, a book that was delivered from another library. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> I don't know. Either, I guess I'll uh, ask him what book it yeah, is. Yeah, that sounds like a more interesting question. Yeah. What book was it that you had? Anything interesting? Architectura Slovenska Kozolka. <laughs> um, I don't know if I said that right, but what's there that? you go. A particular form of handcrafted architecture, of which you know nothing. Well, of course I don't. I mean, do. I mean, of course I don't know anything about that. <sighs> Study and you will learn. No one expects you to know everything at your age, or even at mine. Good night to you. How strange. I really can't tell if he was trying to be friendly or trying to make fun of me. Sounds like he was trying to encourage us to study. Yeah, I think he was being nice, Horace. Taking Jim. Jim is boring, without Kyo. <laughs> you have to admit, he does spice up gym class quite a bit. <laughs> he does. With his shows of uh, drama. Definitely. His sulking and penguin walks. <laughs> penguin walks. He is quite oh. the little penguin. As I begin to sort the mail into stacks by hall, I find something unexpected. It's a large padded envelope addressed to Mrs. Grabiner. What? That's that's me. But how would they know about us? Me, but no one's supposed to know. It could be the professor's mother or something, but then <laughs> why would it come here? It must mean me, right? I have to find out. I sit down and peel open the envelope. Inside is a tiny wooden box fastened shut and a letter written on thick creamy paper. Maybe this is parchment. I don't know. It feels smooth to the touch. But what does it say? To the, it looks like Toad. To, <laughs> to the newest member of the Grabiner family. Congratulations on managing to drag Hieronymus to the altar at last. And my preemptive condolences as well. I know my son is no peach to live with. Gets it from me, I'm sure. I'd ask my ex-wife if I could find her. Ha uh ha. -huh. What is this? Is this his father? It's a waste to spend your whole life mourning for the past, and I hope he's learning that now. Too many hard words have come between us. I expect he still burns my letters unread. But you, dear lady, must have found the key to his heart. A 
clever and persistent woman, I'm sure. He would have nothing less. Well, actually, it was kind of by chance. Actually, he would have less if he was found after his like little S&M stunt with his madness <laughs> by me. He thinks Professor Grabner has fallen in love with me? He must have no idea what really happened. If you have need of anything, feel free to call on me. If you haven't made your own arrangements, I can provide reliable retainers for the children. Uh, yes, no even thanks. in the colonies. Colonies? colonies? Like America? Is this guy living in the past? Is this like a time travel letter? I don't know. It was his wish that I keep my distance, but I still have my contacts. Retainers? Children? Colonies? Colonies? <laughs> As a wedding present, I have enclosed the seals and portal signatures for for the ravine cottage. It's recently refreshed and warded. Use it for the honeymoon and discard it or change it to your whims and keep it or sell it if you wish. Oh, we got a cottage? Sweet. Yes. I've been keeping it for Hieronymus ever since he admired it as a child. Now it is hid. his. <laughs> now it is hid. I would be. I would do more if the boy would let me, but we are each as stubborn as the other. I'll not press him so soon. Warmest regards, Aloysius Grabener, 16th Viscount Montague, Shade of Shetlock. Wow. I, um, <laughs> sounds like an important person. I don't even know what some of those words mean. <laughs> Horus. What seems clear, though, you're 43 smart, Horus, come on. What seems clear, though, is that this little box contains some sort of present. Present. It's about the size of a deck of cards and made up of tiny pieces of wood in different colors, all patterned together like a quilt. It's also held tightly shut with a complicated looking set of metal hooks and latches. Um, I don't know. I feel like I, I'm scared. Who knows what could be inside it? I'm really scared. I can't open it. And I feel like if I did open it, grab it. He's going to walk like, in because we're in the yeah, freaking room. Yeah, we, we can't. This is all a big mistake. I'm not the professor's real wife, and we're certainly not going to have a honeymoon. I tuck the box and the letter back into the envelope. They're not meant for me. Shortly afterwards, while I'm finishing up with the mail, Professor Grabner comes into you. the room. Yes, I knew it. Sir, this came in the mail. I hand him the envelope and he frowns at the open end. It was addressed to me, so I looked at it, but I think it's really for you. It's from your father. He sent a wedding present. I didn't open that. I see. He skims through the letter, then stares at me, eyebrow raised, like he's expecting me to say something. Um, I should go. Yes, that would be for the best. It would seem that you have learned some sense, or at least some restraint. I believe five merits would not be out of the question I believe if you they didn't have full merits. <laughs> I believe they are out of the question, Gravy. Thanks a lot. Uh, thanks, I guess. Good day. He leaves the room. Wait, I thought I was the one that should go. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't okay. that what just happened? Whatever. I'm not completely sure what just happened, but I think he's bribing me with merits to keep my mouth shut. Too bad you can't bribe me with merits, you idiot! I'm full! Well, it seems like horse fell for it, so I guess it worked out after all. Damn it. After I finish delivering the mail and allowances, I'm free! What should I do? Study, because I have no money in this one. Yes, this is right. Yes. We only remember in this one, and we can't do it. <laughs> red magic! What? Stop helping me with my red magic! Why not? Because I have 73! Oh, that's a good point, yeah. Oh, many. And for stress too. We have to sleep soon. Goodness. Goodness, goodness. Alright, everyone. So we will see you again next week. Goodbye. <laughs>